Bros and Hoes, you're listening to your favorite thing podcast with Wells and Brandy. So do you have some fave things, bro? I have a feeling that we're going to have yeah, the same bro. fave things. You do? I do. Okay. Well, my first fave thing. Yeah. Have you seen uh-huh. my sister's episode of My Next Guest with da- of David David Letterman's My Next the- Guest show? No. You have it? Well, no, I don't watch a show anyways, but... Why not? It's pretty good. I don't know. That's not... <laughs> I feel like I let David Letterman go years ago oh. and left The Tonight Show. But oh, So is this, is this new? Yeah, it's brand new. It just came out this last week. Um, I really... I'm shocked you don't watch it. There's some really good episodes, actually. Uh, one of my it. favorites was um, Ryan Reynolds' episode, actually. I feel like you'd, you'd enjoy that. Okay. I'll watch it. What's, what is it on? Netflix. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. So did you um, did you learn things about your sister you didn't know from? No, I pretty much knew everything. But I just yeah. like you know I think that I forget that Miley's kind of disappeared on people, you know, mm-hmm. because I see her all the freaking time, talk to her all the time, and yeah. I forget that people don't get to see her like they used to and like hear from her like they used to. How so? And so, well, she's just not playing shows and she's not touring and she's not on TV anymore. So like people just don't really she's not on social media, so people just don't really hear from her, you know, or see her much. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It was nice for me to sit there thinking like, oh, people are going to get to see the Miley I, I see every day, you know, because she's really changed a lot and grown up a lot in like a really cool way. So I just loved that like it was a moment for for the people to get to see, you know, this grown up version of Miley. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, I feel like I've seen clips of it where she talks about like her dad is narcissistic like she is or something. Is that what that is from? Yeah, that, that's the um She's the like, clickbait. I don't think about Everyone's. my... I don't think about my uh, siblings at all. <laughs> Here's my problem with them pulling that for clickbait yeah. is if you if you don't hear the context of the question that he's asking in their conversation, that doesn't even really make sense the way she says it. And maybe like maybe because I know what she means, I understood it more. But she doesn't mean she doesn't know what we're doing. It was said in the context of growing up and doing Hannah Montana and being on mm-hmm. set. And she meant it as like at that time that I was on set and doing Hannah, I I wasn't aware of what my siblings were doing unless I was involved in it because I was on set. Does that make sense? And like, I actually think that's a really uh, like aware and enlightened thing to be able to say, like, I don't know what they were doing. Like I was on set 24 seven, you know? Um, But I feel like, I feel like some of the news outlets like grabbed that line and plastered it everywhere. It's and like, kind of made it seem like she doesn't know what we're doing now or doesn't care or something. And that's just not what she meant by that. So I don't know if it needed to be, the air needed to be cleared on that, but that's, that's what I understood her to be saying. And I just, if anybody saw that and thought something like negative about it, I would just suggest you watch the episode and Mm -hmm. hear the context that she was talking about. I mean, it didn't offend me. Uh, (laughs) <laughs> I perceive it this way, like the narcissism that you that you kind of like innately have to have when you are making a TV show like that, like that size and then touring and all that kind of stuff. You, you kind of have to live that way of like, I can only mm-hmm. focus on me right now because it's so much is going on. Yeah. That's how I perceived it. But she mm-hmm. also thinks my name is Adam Wells. Adam so, Wells. She does. you know, whatever. <laughs> Cyrus Miley over there being a narcissist. Oh, boy. Um, you know, um, I also I also think it's one of those things, um, aside from my, I, I'm friends with so many musicians specifically, and it's one of those things where, like, if you don't think you're the fucking greatest thing in the world, you'll never have the success yeah. of being one of the fucking greatest in the world. Like, you have to really believe that about yourself, and like you're saying, there is a certain level of narcissism that you kind of have to have to think you're great enough to achieve that level of success and like notoriety and fame, I think. Don't you agree? Yeah. I always said, um, one of my biggest superpowers for success was being really, really optim optimistically delusional. Mm -hmm. I was always like, I'm so good at this. Of course Mm -hmm. I would, I'll get this part. Of course I'll get this show. Like, and if they don't give it to me, that's on them. They, they fucked up because I killed that audition. Even if yeah. I didn't, just like being delusional. Yeah, but about you, things. you have to think that to, to, to keep yeah. going. Otherwise the nose and, you know, getting turned down and whatever and failures would, would just smother you. That's, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I think. So. I agree. All right. I'll check that out. Anyway, Netflix. Gotta. 
It's midsummer. It's going to be so hot everywhere, by the way. How do you feel about how it's a hot rodent boyfriend summer? I don't like it. Have you heard about that? Yeah, I, I saw a peep about it on Instagram or somewhere, and I just, yeah. I don't know. So I guess the whole thing is uh, hot rodent boyfriend summer is all the girlies are into, like, skinny boys with, like, real angular features, maybe some, like, Giardia or, like, just, you know, like a – not a healthy hue about them. I don't understand. Like, we've gotten away from, like, classically handsome people, and now people are just like, you know what I want? I want that rodent look, which mm. is good. I've been rocking hot rodent summer my entire life. You kind of you know? have, yeah. I've been thin, you know, mm-hmm. a little greenish hue to me. No, you're not pasty, though. Yeah. Sharp no. nose. I wish my jaw was a little sharper. I got to do some mewing. That's what the kids do. Back to hot rodent boy summer. You know what I think it is, though? Like, do you remember when dad bod was a thing? I'm kind of into that one. Interesting. I'm, kind, I'm way think... more into that one than this rodent thing. I Here's what I think. I think that poor women are stuck with whatever these pieces of garbage men are doing and have to conform to liking it or they'll never get laid and get married. And so they're just like, I guess we have to decide that Mm -hmm. dad bod, all right, that works. Let's do that one. Mm -hmm. Or like hot rodent. It's like your boyfriend looks like a slender man. No, it's hot rodent summer. And Mm -hmm. now it's cool. But you know what I think it is? I just think it's because guys are pieces of garbage. I've been saying (laughs) this for so long. And you shit on me every time I've said it. And now here you are jumping on the bandwagon. Well, here's the thing. So here, this is. I'm so glad you finally seen the light of day. No, you know what it is? Here's (laughs) what it is. The the guys, the guys that like are classically handsome and Mm -hmm. dress well. Mm-hmm. Um, and are in really good shape are mm-hmm. one of two things. Taken. They're either gay. They're either gay. It's true. True. Gay guys always are in the best shape ever, and they true. look freaking amazing. Mm-hmm. Or they're fucking douchers. You know, mm, like yeah. guys mm-hmm. who are rich and buff and like dress well and stuff. Those guys are all f boys. Yep. And so girls are like, well. Even though that's what I probably want, like in terms mm. of like sexual attraction, I don't mm-hmm. want to be with that person because they're hot garbage. So yeah. I'm going to do these mental gymnastics to make this rodent, you know, shredder from fucking mm. um, Ninja Turtles be attractive for me. This podcast has been brought to you by Podcast Nation.